you could say that it's a kind of an obsession. It's a passion and obsession, you could say. So the moment you see a cipher, I just can't let it go. Um, I have to solve it. So we constantly look for a cipher document. Together, we found those uh, those uh, files in the French National Library, the Bibliothèque Nationale de France. So we found those letters. They were just with only with um, a, with graphical signs. Nothing to nothing to know to uh, to give a clue on on the, the period or the the contents, the writer, the the, the recipients. And uh, only after we cracked them, we were able to uh, to see uh, uh, their contents and to try to understand who wrote them and to whom. It took us about two months to to uh, completely recover the code. So what was interesting is that at the beginning we only had fragments, and in those fragments we saw captivity, we saw my son, and. Uh, it was not clear. We started to have, I mean, we are not historian, but we have some ideas about history. And there was, Scotland was mentioned. So what could be related to Scotland, captivity, and my son? So, uh, and then we started to suspect that that was uh, Mary Queen of Scots, but we are not sure. She was taught about Cypher when, he, when she was a, uh, a child by her mother, Marie de Guise. So she knew, actually she knew how to, to uncipher a letter already when she was nine years old. I, and she was very much aware of, of, uh, of the need to, uh, to keep communication uh, confidential uh, from a very early age. So this is really a very exciting discovery.